a logical place to look for information about the pharmacokinetics of a drug is in the drug's labeling, the package insert. If you don't have access to an actual bottle of the medication, Daily Med is a website that's a good source for locating package inserts. Another source for package inserts would be the manufacturer's website. You can also search the internet for name of drug, prescribing information, and you'll probably come up with package inserts that way as well. Being familiar with the sections of the package inserts makes it easier to find the pharmacokinetic information you need. Package inserts often start with the so-called black box warnings. Every clinician should be familiar with the black box warnings for the drugs they use. Isoniazid, which is used for tuberculosis, has a black box warning about potential liver damage from the drug and how to monitor for it. The dosage and administration section may have specific guidance on how to alter drug dosage in patients with hepatic or renal impairment. The package insert for doxorubicin tells us to monitor the patient's total bilirubin and adjust the dose in patients with hepatic dysfunction. For renally cleared drugs like the antibiotic imipenem, dosing adjustments are based on estimated creatinine clearance. The drug interaction section of the atorvastatin package insert warns us about interactions with drugs that inhibit cytochrome P450 enzymes. An HIV positive patient who has started on a protease inhibitor might be at increased risk for rhabdomyolysis if they are also receiving atorvastatin. The clinical pharmacology section contains information about the pharmacokinetics of the drug. In the metformin package insert, the clinical pharmacology section tells us that this diabetes drug doesn't undergo metabolism in the liver, nor is it excreted in the bile. Rather, most of the drug is excreted unchanged in the urine. So dosing adjustments probably wouldn't be necessary in a patient with hepatic disease, but probably would be in a patient with renal dysfunction. The clinical pharmacology section might also have a special population subsection that tells us what to do with patients who have hepatic or renal failure. For oxcarbazepine, an antiepileptic, mild to moderate liver impairment doesn't warrant dosage changes, but renal impairment does. There are limitations to relying on the package insert for information. First, package inserts don't get updated very often, so they may not have the most recent information available. It's also sometimes difficult to identify the primary source of the information found in the package inserts. It's also important to keep in mind, the package insert is a legal document as well as a clinical document. Some information in the package insert, such as adverse effects, may be included because they occurred in clinical trials, even if a cause and effect relationship has not yet been proven. So while the package insert is important, it's not the single source of truth. Drug databases such as Micromedics and Lexicomp are updated much more frequently and often include important information not found in the package insert. Getting even more detailed and up-to-date information may necessitate using PubMed to search for original drug studies.